Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. The topic of Wilkes-Barre City selling its sewer system was front and center at Thursday night's council meeting in the Diamond City. Although it was not on the agenda, many city residents gave council their opinion on the idea brought up Wednesday by City Administrator Rick Gazinski. Gazinski said the city received sale proposals from Pennsylvania American Water and Aqua America ranging from $20 million to $75 million. Public Financial Management, the financial consultant hired to help the city regain financial stability, recommended pursuing the sale of the sewer system and other measures in a financial recovery plan presented in 2017. Some residents said the sale is a quick fix. The public also will be able to comment on the options presented by PFM at the November 21st council meeting. An incident in Ashley that involved a man swinging a machete at a neighbor landed him in a jail cell. A woman reported to police that she was taking out the trash Wednesday night at her apartment on North Main Street when she was approached by 54-year-old Joseph Perdis. The woman told him she didn't want to talk to him. She returned to her apartment where he allegedly swung a machete at her. When police arrived, they found him to be in possession of the blade. He was charged with aggravated assault, simple assault, making terroristic threats and harassment. He was arraigned and taken to the Luzerne County Prison without bail. Police in Hanover Township are looking for the person or persons involved in a late Wednesday night break in. The burglary happened at B Unique Salon on Oxford Street in the township. Police reported a front glass door was smashed and cash taken from the business at 41 Oxford Street. The incident was said to have happened late Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. Police are asking anyone who may have information regarding that burglary to contact them at 570 825-1254 or by dialing 911. Police in Wilkes-Barre say a man robbed a turkey hill with a pair of hedge clippers. According to police, Keith Golem walked into the Turkey Hill on Cary Avenue around 3 o'clock Thursday morning with the garden tool. At one point, he was swinging the clippers around, nearly hitting customers. Police say he took a half gallon of chocolate milk and was sitting in his car in front of the store. When police arrived, he was taken into custody without incident. Three new park pavilions will be coming to City View Park in the Heights section of the city. City Council voting to spend more than $80,000 in federal community block grant funds for the pavilions at City View Park. The site is used for the annual 4th of July celebration, and now Mayor Jeff Cassatt is hoping it will be used for more events. The mayor says the project is part of a longer-term plan to offer additional city-run functions at the 16-acre park, which was deeded to Hazelton years ago for recreational purposes by attorney Pasco Shivo and Phil Seltzer. If all goes as planned, the park will eventually host a children's Halloween and fall event, a Christmas village type event, and possibly a wine festival, according to the mayor. Two 30 foot by 50 foot pavilions will be built and one 40 by 24 foot pavilion will also be built on the property. City View Park currently has one pavilion, a storage facility that has a window for serving food, two dog parks and a BMX bicycle track. The Hazelton City Authority is eyeing a pair of state grants for planned upgrades to pressure control valves for its water distribution system. The money would cover costs for upgrading at least eight pressure regulating valves. The valves are housed in underground vaults and are in need of upgrades due to their age. 
At this point, officials are working to determine costs, which estimates will be in the range of several hundred thousand dollars. Coming up on WYLN News, students honoring veterans, plus the Operation Can Do Drive. But first, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. Clearing cold overnight with a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. Sunshine uh, on Sunday with even a bit of a warm up. We'll be right back. All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has been treating their customers like family. Stop in to get the lowest financing options and best service around. Whether you're in need of a Ram pickup or have an active family lifestyle or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Tamaqua has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. Stop in for employee pricing plus at the Black Friday sales event. At Grand Central, our family has been supplying your family with quality brand name furniture, mattresses, and appliances for over three generations. Whether you choose from our excellent selection of Lazy Boy, Catnapper, or England furniture, or from our fantastic selection of Sealy and Stearns and Foster mattresses, we guarantee total comfort in every room of your home. With expert advice, everyday low prices, plus interest-free financing for up to 60 months. From our family to your family. Grand Central and Hazleton, everything to make your house a home. You've seen university advertising. A student like me pitching you the same old ideas. But I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna tell you what you can do with a Penn State degree. You can help anyone. Go anywhere. Create! And with 20 campuses to choose from, you'll always feel at home. Look, Penn State is amazing, but your best years are just beginning. Come find out! For yourself. Two more Kmart stores in our area will be closing in early 2020. The store on Route 309 will close by February 2020. That's according to Transformco, the holding company that owns Kmart. The location will be among 96 Sears and Kmart stores slated for closing in the next few months. According to a news release issued yesterday, Transformco purchased the assets of Sears Holding Corporation, including Kmart, back in February. According to the release, the decision to close the stores was difficult but necessary. The Kmart store in the Berwick Shopping Plaza will also close, according to the release. Kmart stores in Pittston Township and Hazel Township closed last year. House Bill 1048, sponsored by State Representative Jerry Knowles of Schuylkill County, will eliminate a license renewal fee only to national veterans organizations and volunteer fire companies passed the House unanimously last week. The bill would amend Act 39 of 2016 that requires a $700 renewal surcharge for all licenses that are renewed or validated on an annual basis. In a statement, Knowles said the surcharge is financially burdensome. Knowles is also the author of House Bill 1189, which awaits action by the House. That bill would address problems with recruitment, retention, and training of volunteer fire and emergency medical services personnel. His bills are part of the House's continued commitment to supporting first responders. The House is working to complete work on more than a dozen measures designed to boost volunteerism, offer more flexibility in funding, and assure better access to training. Students on the South Side honored veterans this afternoon by putting together a memorable presentation. Our Julie Stefanovich has the details. was presented today at McAdoo Claire's Elementary School, honoring veterans throughout the area. The fifth through eighth graders wrote essays, sang songs, and thanked the veterans in attendance for their service. McAdoo Mayor Dane Watro is a U.S. Army veteran who served in the Iraq War. 
It, um, coming down here to the McAdoo Clare School, being I'm the mayor of McAdoo, it, it's been a tradition every Veterans Day for as long as I can remember since I returned back from Iraq, uh, and that's been 14, uh, 14 years ago. Uh, it, it's very, it's, it's overwhelming because um, in a positive way, because these kids are so interested in honoring our veterans and, and showing the respect that our veterans um, deserve. Principal Frank Walton was proud of the student body and teachers for making today's presentation possible. I think it, it really makes it personal for the students because they could actually see men that they've read about, men that they were writing about, actually in person sitting here in the audience. Veterans from throughout the McAdoo area were honored at the ceremony, including David Ogrunuk of the U.S. Navy Submarine Service. He served from 1987 to 1993. I'm trying to, I'm part of the McAdoo VFW and I'm trying to get more involved in the community and everything. It was great that the kids put out the program that they did. It was very nice. Ogrudnik had a message for the students. Be smart, stay in school, don't get in trouble. And if, you, if the military is going to be your choice, it isn't the wrong one. We would like to take the time to thank all who have served and are currently serving. In McAdoo, for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. And schools throughout the greater Hazleton area have taken part in the annual Operation Can Do Drive. WILN's Julia Wiegand has that story. More than 10 schools throughout greater Hazleton organized drives and collected dozens of boxes of supplies as part of the 15th annual Operation Can Do Drive. The Can Do Student Action Committee teams up with the Freeland American Legion Post 473 to collect non-perishable food and personal hygiene items, as well as monetary donations. Care packages are then assembled to ship to military members with ties to Greater Hazelton, who are stationed abroad for the holidays. We've been prepping for this since the summer when we had our first student action committee meeting, so it was very nice that everything went smoothly and we're finally finished with it. We'd just like to thank everyone who supported us and who donated to the Operation Can Do. In addition to the students, many businesses throughout Greater Hazelton set up collection boxes for the annual drive which was coordinated by Student Action Committee co-chairs and Marion High School students, Julia Kreisel and Alex Kubishin. And we had to send out emails, make sure everyone around the schools, around businesses were getting prepared for our collection and getting everything they needed. And we went, some places we went, we got the items and brought them to Can Do, and other places they went out, Can Do themselves, and they got the item for us. Students from many of the local schools each filled tons of boxes with items as part of the drive, which include Arthur Street Elementary Community Service Club, Drums Elementary Middle School National Junior Honor Society, Hazel Township Early Learning Center, the Freeland Elementary Middle School Builders Club, Hazelton Area Academy of Sciences, Hazelton Elementary Middle School, Emmanuel Christian School, Marion High School, McAdoo Clares Elementary School, MMI Preparatory School, and Valley Elementary Middle School. At first, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do this, but looking back on it, I couldn't be happier because seeing the things that our troops do for us, it's the least we could do for them. Anyone who has a family member or friend who's actively serving in the military can submit their contact information to Student Action Committee Advisor Nancy Stasco by calling 570-455-1508 or emailing nstasco at hazeltoncando.com. Reporting in Freeland for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. And coming up on McAdoo's News Choice, a week in review, plus it's not goodbye, but see you around. Stay with us. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. There are 125 used car dealers in town, but there's only one Churras. Quality vehicle since 1954. Voted the best used car dealer. Check out their inventory, see something you like, take a test ride. Churras Auto Sales. Call 570-454-7229. Is your computer not running as good as when you purchased it? Good news, take it to Hazleton's only retail and repair shop, Hazleton Computer Incorporated. They will get it running like new again. Located at 50 West 23rd Street in Hazleton, next to Churchill Auto Sales.
Watch Off the Beaten Path on WYLN TV 35 and discover the Pennsylvania you never knew existed. Monday, in Wilkes-Barre, a man threatened to cause bloodshed by punishing two employees for perceived wrongs at the Department of Veteran Affairs Medical Center. According to VA police, 59-year-old Donnie Ray Edwards of Wilkes-Barre is accused of threatening the employees during a counseling session Friday morning. According to police, a social worker contacted them to report Edwards had been threatening staff members. He was charged with making terroristic threats and harassment. A judge arraigned Edwards on the charges Saturday afternoon and ordered him jailed at the Luzerne County Correctional Facility with bail set at $50,000. Tuesday, Pennsylvania's general election was in full swing. Voters took to the polls to vote in numerous races. Here in the Hazleton area, votes were placed for the city's mayor and school board members. Supervisors' races were held throughout the area along with electing judges, Luzerne County Council members, and district attorney. Polls were open from 7 a.m. until closing at 8 p.m. Residents casted their votes on who they wanted to lead the court systems, county, and local governments. Wednesday, the results were in on this year's general election. Mayor Jeff Cassatt defeated challenger Bob Yevac in the mayor's race. Businesswoman Lauren Sacco was elected to city council, along with Jack Mundy, who returns for a record fifth term. Voters also chose school board members in the Hazleton area. Six people were voted into Luzerne County Council, and new and incumbent members of Wilkes-Barre City Council will be joining new Mayor George Brown come the first of the year. Thursday, the calendars were just turned to November, and the area was already preparing for its first snowfall. PennDOT activated its Incident Command Center and made sure that roads were passable. The department also issued tips to motorists to keep themselves and others safe on the roadways during the inclement weather. Friday, the topic of Wilkes-Barre City selling its source system was front and center at Thursday night's council meeting in the Diamond City. Although it was not on the agenda, many city residents gave council their opinion on the idea that was brought up on Wednesday by City Administrator Rick Gazinski. Gazinski said the city received sale proposals from Pennsylvania American Water and Aqua America ranging from $20 million to $75 million. Public Financial Management, the financial consultant hired to help the city regain financial stability, recommended pursuing the sale of the SOAR system and other measures in a financial recovery plan presented back in 2017. The public will also be able to comment on the options presented by PFM at the November 21st Council meeting. This has been your Week in Review on WYLN News. deserves a partner too. It's okay that everybody ignores me when I drive. It's fine, because I get a safe driving bonus check every six months I'm accident free. Because I don't use my cell phone when I'm driving, even though my family does and leaves me all alone. Here's something else. I don't share it with mom, right mom? I have a brand new putter you don't even know about. It's awesome. Safe driving bonus checks only from Allstate. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street or in Hometown in the Hometown Village Square. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road in Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicap accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. Packages are available to fit anyone's budget, and there is a restaurant and catering on site. The facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor parties, private parties of any kind. Call 570-384-2314. Welcome back to WYLN, and on my teleprompter, it says, Paula, say something nice. <laughs> well, it's very difficult to say something nice when someone that you have been enjoying his camaraderie and friendship and everything else is going to be leaving. Normally, he talks to me here, but tonight we brought him out on the set because 
our Gary Perna, we're very proud, is moving on to, well, bigger? Bigger. Yeah. Bigger and more exciting things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, very exciting. Um, well, I guess before I talk, Mike Lula, one of our phenomenal videographers and editors, put together a video for us. So it's a minute 35 of me, apparently. So this so. is me saying something nice. This is you I saying helped something Mike. nice. <laughs> Oh, that was that first picture. These pictures. Yeah, oh, this was, um, these are the early days, the first maybe, first year of uh, working here at W Island pre-goatee. Uh-oh. Uh, that was a breaking news spot on location many times. Uh, got to work with phenomenal videographers uh, and reporters throughout my eight years here at W Island. Hey, there's Oh, there there's we are, there yeah. we are. See, I was at the telethon last year. Uh, lots of stand-ups. Uh, that was one of my favorites. Uh, Mike Lula shot that one. That was a unique, uh, unique day for us. Uh, uh -oh. Doing the story in the prison with the prison dogs. That was a, a, a cool day. Uh, plow. Hey, snow season's coming up. Your favorite season. I know. It's right almost started. Uh, oh, the last there show we I did go. With, I did with L.A. Tyrone. When back in topic A days. Um, lots of interviews. Lots of segments. Um, that we did uh, from our shows to everything in between. So I guess let me, let me start rolling the prompter here if, if we can. Eight years ago, Ann Gownley and L.A. Tyrone oh, there's convinced Mrs. me. Perna. Oh, there's my wife. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> convinced me to come here to WYLN TV. And even though there were many ups and downs, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Over the years, I have worked as a reporter, producer, account executive, host, anchor, and news director. Chief running cook and the, bottle washer. Everything. <laughs> running the day-to-day -day operations of this new station. Everyone I've worked with here at W. and over the years were true professionals and have become very good friends of mine. I'm very grateful to the Gans family for taking a chance on me eight years ago, and more recently when uh, they promoted me to news director. To the staff here at WYLN, thank you for being the best. As I leave here tonight, I know that we did the best each and every day to provide the greater Hazleton area and beyond the best in local news. A special shout out to Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Mike Lula, and Joe Maggio. Thank you for everything you have done for me, my family, and have helped me on, uh, in this job. Thank you to my family for always supporting me and my dreams. And finally, to all of you, the viewers, Thank you for putting up with me for eight years, <laughs> listening to me. Thank you for all the calls, the support, and the love um, you've given me. And now on to the next chapter here uh, of my life. So again, thank you to everyone who has watched. Thank you to everyone who has called us. Um, it has been a great, a great opportunity. So I guess for the last time, as, as Paula and I take a selfie, for the last time, Thanks for watching us tonight. Remember, you can get news updates on the WYLN News Facebook page. Remember, a look at the weather is next here on WYLN TV. Good night. Not only is Krugel's Georgetown Deli and Beer your craft beer headquarters, they have great food too. Check out Georgetown's Pope Fair menu, G-Town scallops, cheesy crab pretzel, smoked brisket, smoked wings, and more. Or how about their flight and bites with your choice of sauces and five on draft beers. They have a great selection of craft beers on tap and you can get it to go in a crowler. Stop in and play Kino or other Pennsylvania lottery games. Google's Georgetown Deli and Beer in Wilkes-Barre Township right next to the Big Cow. Check them out on the web at georgetowndeli.com. For four generations, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has been treating their customers like family. Stop in to get the lowest financing options and best service around. Whether you're in need of a Ram pickup or have an active family lifestyle or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side. All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Tamaqua has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. Stop in for employee pricing plus at the Black Friday sales event. WYLN CA 35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the children's programming report is on file for public inspection at WYLN 1057 East 10th Street in Hazleton, Pennsylvania during normal business hours. To view the report online, visit FCC 
www.thepeopleshow.org.